We're going to demand, take, and punish if they don't give us what we want moving forward. In just a few months, the United States may experience a showdown between labor and big business of a magnitude that we haven't witnessed in decades. The largest private sector union contract in the country between the United Parcel Service, or UPS, and the Teamsters Union covers 350,000 workers at UPS and expires on August 1st. We've witnessed a surge in labor organizing over the past two years, and union popularity is at its highest since 1965. Just last November, 48,000 academic workers in the University of California system engaged in the largest academic worker strike in U.S. history. In 2021, tens of thousands of healthcare workers at Kaiser, auto workers at John Deere, and grocery workers at Kroger's engaged in massive work stoppages. Right now, over 11,000 writers with the Writers Guild of America are on strike against the most powerful players in the television and film industry. What we have not yet seen in recent years is organized labor taking action in a way that shakes the economy at the national level. But that may be about to change. To give a sense of the scale, the equivalent of 6% of the US economy and 2% of the world economy circulates through the UPS system daily. UPS is projected to bring in $97 billion in revenues in 2023. So where are those billions of dollars in profits going? Top executives like CEO Carol Tomei made a whopping 19 million last year alone. UPS is also projected to pay out $5.4 billion in dividends this year to the likes of JP Morgan, BlackRock, and other wealthy bankers who are among their top shareholders. While UPS raked in record profits during the pandemic, workers' wages stagnated and in some cases declined. But the 350,000 Teamsters members at UPS are fighting back. The core issues that the union is fighting for include fair wage increases, more full-time jobs, protections against forced overtime, and the elimination of a second-tier job classification where workers are paid less and have fewer protections. The Teamsters have openly stated their intent to strike on August 1st, the day their contract expires, if UPS doesn't meet their core demands. This would be a historic strike that touches every corner of the country and would be the largest in the United States since 1959. But we don't have to just imagine what that would look like. In 1997, the Teamsters engaged in a 15-day strike against UPS that resulted in the company losing $600 million and had ripple effects nationally and internationally. The strike had enormous public support. The militant struggle of UPS workers against a corporate behemoth became a symbol and rallying point for millions of workers against corporate America. 26 years later, the situation looks the same at UPS and for working people across the country. Once again, the fight at UPS is a fight for workers everywhere. I got a message for corporate America. I got a message for the government. I got a message for anybody. When you take on our 360,000 strong and deep UPSers, you take on our, our 1.3 million members. Put your helmets on, buckle your chin straps. It's a full contact sport. Let's go Teamsters! <laughs>